You know we're getting close to closing day when we have drawn the post positions for the Grade 1 $1 million Arkansas Derby. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Oakland today. I'm Frank Miramati along with Nancy Holthus. Nancy, we have a field of eight. That's right. A very solid field of eight indeed for the $1 million Arkansas Derby. Lots of points on the line gearing for the first Saturday in May. Russ Ramstad has made American Pharaoh the one to two prohibitive favorite. That's on Saturday. Right now, let's take a look at the Wednesday conditions. Another fast track, maiden three-year-olds and up, go six furlongs in the opener, 10 wagering interests. They're in the gate. And they're off. The Wild Tiger breaks out alertly, but there goes four run shot, now sprinting up to take the lead, and endless escape flashing good speed as well. The Wild Tiger is now in third, train walk extreme outside. Buckwheat fifth, but only three lengths off the lead. A gap of three back to Rough Dan, who's losing some ground. Scott Man moves up in between horses now and is only four and a half off them. At the rail comes Tweet Sense, six lengths off the lead into the far turn. Outside of Street Sense comes Funky Box. Then it's a gap of four back to Flying Candy Ride, Copper Coated Bullet, and it's a distance to RJ's Indie Storm. Four run shot is the one to catch coming to the quarter pole, leads it by two. Endless Escape is asked to go after him now in second. Scott Man splitting those two and moving in with a dangerous run as the field turns for home. Funky Box is on the far outside. They're heading to the eighth pole. And Endless Escape is the new leader. Opens up about a half length on four run shot. Who's had enough? Scott Man battles doggedly on the inside. It's Scott Man or Endless Escape. Scott Man just in front. Endless Escape is second. It will be Scott Man, a determined winner. Endless Escape finished second. Third went to Funky Box. Then it was Rough Dan fourth. And four run shot will complete the Superfecta. Scott Mann disappointed at 5-2 to two in his last two starts, but makes amends today at 7-1 to one for Gary Tussie, Aaron Shorter, and David Mello. Endless Escape was claimed by Paul Holthus. In the second at six furlongs, four-year-olds and up, scratch numbers 1A and 2. And they're off. Walt breaks alertly, but it's almost English now, sprinting up to battle for the lead with Denali South Peak. Also showing good early speed is Wild Target on the outside, taking second. Montezuma Express is now fifth, but only two and a half lengths off them. Frederico is next. The distant early trailer is Repent With Me. Denali South Peak leads to the half-mile pole with Wild Target pressing second. Almost English at the rail, third. Walt between horses. Montezuma Express three wide. That trio with just two to make up. Frederico is asked to go after them, and he's about six in front of Repent With Me. Wild Target, the new leader coming to the quarter pole. Puts a half length on Denali South Peak with Montezuma Express in the clear and in pursuit, moving up third. Then comes Walt racing between horses. Frederico, red cap, widest of all. Almost English the Grey, just behind the leaders, looking for room. And Repent With Me is starting his rally from well out of it. Final furlong. Wild Target, almost English, coming very gamely along the inside. Repent With Me, extreme outside, and Montezuma Express. Repent With Me coming after Almost English and Wild Target, but it's Almost English to win it. Almost English wins by a nearly a length. Almost English looked outstanding in the post parade and ran accordingly for Joel and Ali Rush and Brad Cox. This owner-trainer combination has teamed up very nicely throughout the meet. Jesus Castanon aboard for the victory. On to race number three, Archibreds. These are maidens, fillies, and mares, three and up. Claiming tag, 12,500. Scratch, Tinsley's district. And they're off. Beguiling Creek is going straight to the front. Chilean Queen flashing speed along the inside, and Nicole's bullet in the orange came away in good order. They're followed by our wild-eyed lady moving up on the outside fourth. At the rails, see Lucy's reality is a joint fifth. Old Jackie now goes by her. They're followed by Smoky Jewels racing one from the rail. Muster in and Sly Song into your side by side, then Endless Bloom and Tricky Princess at the back as they head into the far turn. Chilean Queen is the leader, three quarters of a length to Big Island Creek in second. The lead now about a length and a half. Our wild eyed lady is in third. Then comes Nicole's bullet fourth. Oh, Jackie on the outside, fifth. Smoky Jewels is next, about 10 lengths off the lead. Muster in is just outside of her and at the rails. See Lucy's reality, the favorite square off. 
at the top of the stretch. Beguiling Creek on the outside and Chilean Queen are stride for stride. Beguiling Creek takes a narrow lead. Chilean Queen fully extended now a half behind second. Our wild-eyed lady third. Beguiling Creek under very confident handling from Alex Kanchari puts them away late and starts to open up. It's Beguiling Creek to win it by about three and a half. Chilean Queen second, long way to our wild-eyed lady third, and then it's a photo for fourth, the closing endless bloom and see Lucy's reality. Beguiling Creek improves in career start number three on the drop for Ernie Witt and trainer Ernie Witt the second. The daughter of Cinnamon Creek was ridden to victory by Alex Conchari, and Chilean Queen was claimed by Lynn Kleberad. We'll take a timeout and return with race four right after this. Want to bet? Even when you're not at the track? Now our Kansans can watch and wager online from anywhere. Introducing Oaklawn Anywhere. Visit the Oaklawn Anywhere booth to join and fund your account with cash at the window or by direct deposit. Get a $100 bonus for signing up. Go to oaklawnanywhere.com for details. Oaklawn Anywhere, now everywhere for Arkansas residents. Arkansans are just born lucky. Lucky to be so close to Hot Springs, the legendary spa city, and home to Oaklawn Gaming, where you can play all your favorite games all year long, from penny games to Wheel of Fortune, video poker to blackjack. Why drive farther? Arkansas's favorite place to play, Oaklawn Gaming. Get your $10 free play coupon at oaklawn.com. Lake Hamilton, historic downtown, Bathhouse Row. That's just part of the history made in Hot Springs years ago. But your first day on the lake, enjoying a meal fit for kings, or just being on top of the world, that's the kind of history made in Hot Springs every day. So come make yours. Visit hotsprings.org today. This is where crisp, smooth, refreshing Bud Light happens. But it is right here that it becomes an invitation. Making this not only 12 ounces of refreshment, but also 12 ounces of inspiration. To be more up for whatever than ever. Bud Light. The perfect beer for reading and unleashing a whole world of whatever in the name of a ridiculously good time. If you're up for whatever, look for your message on Bud Light bottles. Bud Light, the perfect beer for whatever happens. The fourth race for Phillies and Mares, three and up. The claiming price, $10,000. They're going a mile and a 16th. Going in. And they're off. Flashy Holiday broke a bit outward, but did break alertly. Pink Lip Gloss is showing good speed. Bees Honey on the outside is next. Hot Shoes from the extreme outside. Ravishingly is the gray. And down at the rail, Ms. Attica. Almost clipping heels there, but Ms. Attica gets through on the inside of Pink Lip Gloss. They're very tightly bunched around the first turn. And Southern Flash is basically not interested. She is well, well out of it. She'll get even as racing one from the outside. I'm going to be sexy is now just four lengths off the lead. Arabella's lady inside that group. And again, Southern Flash is out of it. Straightening away for the run down the backstretch. It's Bees Honey on the inside with Hot Shoes up alongside. Flashy Holiday just the neck back, making it three almost across the track. Pink Lip Gloss is racing in fourth. Down at the rail, Ms. Attica in the fifth position and five lengths off the lead. She'll get even passed by Ama B. Sexy ravishingly. And inside of her, Arabella's lady trying to get into contention with less than a half mile to go. It's Flashy Holiday now taking over at the three furlong point. Bees Honey is in second, Hot Shoes under pressure third. Pink Lip Gloss moves up in between horses fourth. Ms. Attica at the rail is in fifth. Then Arabella's Lady is about seven lengths off the lead. I'm a B Sexy is next. Then Ravishingly and she'll get even. Bees Honey on the outside of Flashy Holiday. Pink Lip Gloss makes a three wide bid after them. The rest have plenty of work to do. They're at the top of the stretch. Flashy Holiday digs in gamely, reclaims the lead from Bees Honey, and Pink Lip Gloss on the outside. They're in the final furlong. It's Flashy Holiday, Pink Lip Gloss, Pink Lip Gloss up to take the lead under left-handed urging and starts to pull away late. Flashy Holiday second, Bees Honey third, Ms. Attica distant fourth. It will be Pink Lip Gloss prevailing by about four when the smoke clears. Flashy Holiday second, Bees Honey third, Ms. Attica was fourth. 
Pink Lip Gloss scores again for Chris Hartman. That's back-to-back -back wins for this daughter of the Wildcat. Took her 14 starts to break her maiden. She's now two for 15. John Jones, the winning owner. Cliff Berry was aboard. And Bees Honey claimed by Federico Villafranco. In the fifth, scratch number three, Literary Lady. And they're off. Ski Ball is sprinting out for the lead. Union Beauty has speed. On the outside, Jamie's Girl third, my sister Nell. Then Wonderful Star, Fence Jumper, Miss Morris Code, and Locust Bayou between those two. Around the first turn, and Ski Ball, uncontested up top, leads it by about two and a half lengths. Union Beauty, a joint second with Jamie's Girl just outside of her. Then it's a gap of three to Wonderful Star inside my sister Nell, four clear of Miss Morris Code, Locust Bayou, and now Fence Jumpers at the back. Ski ball just rolling along up top in front by nearly four with Jamie's girl in second. Then comes Union Beauty third. Wonderful star inching up nicely on the outside to take the third spot. And with that, Union Beauty comes under pressure. My sister Nell, two lengths behind them. They're followed by Miss Morris Code, Locust Bayou, and Fence Jumper with a half mile left to go. It's ski ball in front by two. Jamie's girl in second. Wonderful star third. My sister Nell inches up on the outside of her in fourth. Then comes a weakened Union Beauty fifth. Now nine lengths off the lead. Two clear of Miss Morris Code and Locust Bayou. They're coming to the top of the stretch. Ski ball, wonderful star, steady progress for quite some time. And wonderful star just cruises up alongside of Ski ball. At the top of the stretch, she'll be tough to deny. Wonderful star in charge, leaving Ski ball behind. Then it's Jamie's girl on the outside and my sister now. They're coming toward the 16th mark and Wonderful Star is gone. Wonderful Star by four. Jamie's girl gets into second. Ski ball will finish third and then my sister now. Wonderful Star had a ton of trouble on March 19th. Alex Berzer takes over and she responds with a nice rally for trainer John Hall and owners Vernon Schmell, Robert Lewis, Tracy Herzman, and Angela Hall. We'll be back right after this. The early pick four paid $506. This is Steve Landers. This is SteveLandersAuto.com. We pride ourselves on making your shopping experience as easy as possible. That's why we're proud to introduce SteveLandersAuto.com, where you can shop from both stores, Steve Landers Toyota and Steve Landers Chrysler Dodge Jeep. It's all about inventory thousands of new vehicles, every pre-owned option you can imagine, all at stevelandersauto.com. So remember, this is Steve Landers. This is stevelandersauto.com. When it comes to having fun and playing all your favorite games, Oaklawn Gaming is only minutes away. And that always beats out-of-state casinos that are hours away. And winning beats not winning. Oaklawn Gaming has the best odds around and the spa city of hot springs with great hotels fine dining exciting nightlife and more why drive farther oaklawn gaming arkansas's favorite place to play go to oaklawn.com for your ten dollar free play coupon bathhouse row on racing hamilton the history made in hot spring but you're free enjoying a meal underneath or just appreciating those are botanical gardens history made in hot springs so come make yours it's org today i firmly believe that any man's finest hour the greatest fulfillment of all that he holds dear is that moment when he has worked his heart out in a good cause and lies exhausted on the field of battle, victorious. At West Rock Coffee, we celebrate the determination and spirit of the people of Rwanda who help us make the finest coffee in the world. Terry, moving on to the final days of the 2015 meet. The Racing Festival of the South continues. Tomorrow's feature, the Count Fleet Sprint. But who gets to be the Terry Wallace pick of the day for Thursday? Well, the Count Fleet Sprint Handicap has been one of my favorite races for a long, long time. And in it, we have one of America's top sprinters, the number seven gentleman's bet. Uh, he came back and, uh, and won his second time out, and I think he'll win this third time out, too, and, and go on and be one of the top sprinters in America. 
I certainly agree with that selection. And don't forget, all of Terry's selections can be found in the Hot Springs Sentinel record. Welcome back to Oakland today. Three-year-olds and up go a mile and a sixteenth in the sixth race. Scratch numbers eight and nine. They're in the gate. And they're off. King Cyrus is going for the lead with Shake Up and Had a Notion. Just behind them, Dusty Rider, a close-up fourth. Then it's sixth spot, Cool Roger moving up on the extreme outside. Dirty Swag and Nutty Brown is the early trailer. Around the first turn and Shake Up sprints clear to lead by three. Dusty Rider won from the rail, Had a Notion on the outside and King Cyrus on the fence. Then sixth spot and Cool Roger side by side, about eight lengths off the leader. Four in front of Dirty Swag and Nutty Brown. Five and a half furlongs to go, and Shake Up now leads by four. Dusty Rider second, King Cyrus moving up nicely inside of him to reclaim the second position. Then comes sixth spot and fourth. Had a notion fifth, about ten lengths off the lead. Cool Rogers traveling well enough behind him, moving up between horses in the red cap. Nutty Brown and Dirty Swag past the half mile pole. Shake Up in front, King Cyrus leads the rest of them, but Shake Up is now clear by six. King Cyrus second, six spot a hard ridden third. Nutty Brown making progress along the inside. He now takes the fourth spot. Dusty Ryder had a notion, Cool Roger and Dirty Swag. A quarter of a mile to go, Shake Up still there in front by four lengths. King Cyrus has to get after him now from second. Nutty Brown has made progress all the way to third, then six spot and had a notion. There's an eighth of a mile to go and Shake Up is still strong on the front end. In front by five, King Cyrus, Nutty Brown can only try to complete the exacta behind Shake Up and Jareth Loveberry to score easily in front running fashion. Shake Up by seven. Second goes to Nutty Brown, King Cyrus, and then six spot. Shake Up was claimed for $15,000 last time out for Mongo Racing and J.R. Caldwell. They score today with Jareth Loveberry up. Mongo.